I'm Monica Nicholsberg with GeekWire here at KEXP. We're in their new upgraded live studio, and I'm with Noah Norman, an artist with Listen, who's worked on the Microsoft partnership with KEXP. So tell me about these lights that surround us and the technology that powers them. So these are uh, Kinect driven largely. Uh, we can use uh, the Kinects to visualize uh, the artist's movements on this uh, surface. It's a custom made uh, low resolution LED screen, essentially somewhere in between lighting and video. Cool. So in, if an artist is in here, is it always going to be responding to their motion, or do you have programs that you set up beforehand? Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of different preset looks. Uh, we're looking at one right now, uh, some of which react to the Kinect, some are uh, more static. And uh, we have a couple fun logo looks as well that use KEXP's logo as a, as a basis for an animation. Great. And I know we just saw car seat headrests in here. They were a lot of fun. Was that something that was responding to their motion, to their sound, both? Or is it something that you just set up in advance? Right. So that was driven by the Kinect. The look that was uh, in the background of the car seat headrest show was, was driven by Kinect. It's a fluid simulation using the head and hands to uh, dump ink into kind of an aquarium, essentially, would be the best analogy I could come up with. Um, all right. So this wall is tracking me, which I'm not a great performer, but if there was a band in here, you could imagine them dancing around, playing music, and it following them. Now, will it respond more if I touch them? No, I guess not, because it's... And it breaks right at that corner into the next one, so you're on the wall. Oh, is, it, is that me? Yeah. Now this is me. This is fun. I could have a lot of fun in here. <laughs> Um, it started, uh, I think, as a dialogue between uh, Amy from Microsoft and Dashville from KEXP. Um, I think there was a known desire for us to do something in this live room. Uh, we, we built this room to be a bit of a blank canvas, but we knew that we wanted to um, implement some sort of decorative, decorative lighting uh, for our video production. We didn't know what it, what it might be, and so I think that's when Amy um, came up with this uh, idea of collaborating uh, to, build, to build what you see now. So the exciting part about this project for us was working with KEXP to figure out how we could use Microsoft technology like Connect and Surface to bring to life what they wanted to do in this space with the look and the aesthetic of the space that linked back to the old studio that they had where they had twinkly Christmas lights, literally, and bring it into something for the future and something that they had a little more control over and could do some more creative things around. So we brought these LED lights into the space, used Connect to track the bands in, in the motion in the room, and um, put it all together and they can control it all on a surface. And it's really exciting to see what that will do for the live performances in this room. It's very high-tech twinkly lights. Very, very high-tech twinkly lights, yes. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about the interactive photography that we saw outside in the, the gathering space. Yes, so the interactive portraits that we have on display until the end of the month here at KEXP were a project that came out of our music and technology program, which is our ongoing collaborations with artists and music and art that showcase how we can push technology forward in, in those uses. Um, we, we worked with an artist, Carlo Vandero, and we had him take portraits of some of the musicians that we've been working with, like Fantagram and Neon Indian and Matthew Deere, and made these amazing portraits where he uses an, a light rig that moves the lights around faster than you can even see with your eye and captures motion in such a way where we were able to then put a connect controller on those portraits and let the folks standing in front of them move very uh, carefully, not really, you can move a lot, and move those portraits and the light that is in that portraiture around. So it's really hard to describe without it, without you seeing it, but it's a really cool way to be part of the motion in that, in that art. Absolutely. Well, Amy, thanks so much for telling me about all the geeky stuff that powers the new KEXP. I'm Monica Nicholsberg reporting from GeekWire.